If you want to finish projects at god speed without sacrificing quality, you have to trust the process. Trusting fellow artists to deliver pre-made assets so you never start from scratch, a process followed by industry leaders like Industrialite Magic, Framestore, Water Digital, Pixomondo and more, the leading producers of VFX and CGI in the world. They use mega asset libraries for cars, people, buildings and more. While artists like you and me don't have access to such libraries, Blender artists have started building similar libraries and tools to speed up how you create content. Like this Mountainscapes library, a collection of 152 ready-to-use mountain assets from snow-covered mountains, rocks, cliffs and more, all professionally scanned to give you the best detail. They come with 8K textures but also give you the option to switch to low-poly versions of assets. Sometimes it's the simplest things you do to your renders that sets them apart from all others, like adding wind effects to your grass, plants or cloth objects in your scene. Using the cloth system is too much work and too tasking on the computer, so an add-on like simple wind is a great alternative that is simple to use, light and produces comparable results to the cloth simulation system, especially for simple things like wind blowing on grass, plants or clothes. Detail is key. This belt generator can generate an infinite number of belts, giving each belt a unique look from the last one. While a generator like this may not be a tool you use on a daily basis, it's nice to know that when you need belts, there is a generator that can give you the detail, variation and quality with just a few clicks. If you want speed building, let me present you PBG2. Have 10 years of experience in modeling, UV unwrapping and texturing. If you gave me an hour to make a building, I'm sure I can come up with something that looks great but it's not going to be as detailed as what PBG2 can achieve in just two extrusions. Yes, I can add small details that PBG2 may not add but if it was a competition, I would only need about 30 seconds to create a building with PBG and then I can use minutes I'm left with to add the additional detail that I want. The particle system or geometry nodes are great systems for scattering objects around, but please do not use them to scatter anything that the camera might orbit or focus on too, especially if you're going for hyper realism. Geometry nodes and the particle system do not care if the objects are intersecting or going through each other. They also don't consider gravity and center of mass of the objects when scattering those objects. They just scatter them randomly and hope the viewer won't see the awkward placement of scattered objects. If you want physically accurate scattering, this physics add-on is the best way to go. Instead of hand placing each object, you let physics take over. Imagine you are working on a client project, you deliver the project and the client wants some minor changes, like to add some characters walking, maybe some running or sitting to the client it should be as easy as clicking a button. To you as an artist, that's a nightmare. You have to model, texture, and mate, render the characters. At least that's how we used to do it back then. But with tools like Population, it can be as easy as the client described it. A click of a button. Population comes with over 48 photo scanned characters and 55 motion capture animations plus updates, meaning that when it comes to crowd simulations in Blender, the population crowd library will always have something for you. Anyone pursuing a professional career in Blender has to invest into a plant library like Botanic. You need one for VFX, you need one for commercials, you definitely need one for activists. And Botanico is an ever-expanding library of optimized and realistic 3D vegetation that includes a variety of trees, grass, flowers, weeds, ferns, ivies, palms, succulents, shrubs, and more, guaranteeing that you will always have something for your project. As a professional VFX artist that works exclusively in Blender, I constantly do VFX experiments on the channel. The only reason you don't normally see me use RBD Lab in my tutorials is because I try to keep my tutorials add-on free for anyone who's just starting out in Blender and they're not sure about investing into add-ons just yet. But if I'm working on a professional project, you can bet I'm using RBD Lab. I wouldn't recommend anyone to do VFX without an add-on like RBD Lab. If speed is the name of the game, generators are the fuel to burn to win at this game. And this BP Geogen Ultimate Generator Bundle has over 50 drag and drop generators. Basically, if you need pipes, ice spikes, planets, slime, fur, fire, sun, vegetation, damage generators, scale generators, droplets, walls, spaceships, 
signs a disintegration effect, this bundle has it all. Sometimes I wish making 3D characters was easy as changing clothes like in GTA. If you want a jacket, you just select it from a drop down list and the character changes to that garment in a second. Unfortunately, that's not how 3D works, but at least things are getting easier nowadays. For example, this epic clothing pack tried to mimic the same thing, giving you a variety of different garments, clothing with unique designs that you can just drag and drop onto your characters. You will have to edit them to make them fit the character, but you will have saved hours and hours creating them from scratch. It doesn't have to end with character creation. If you want to make Blender feel like a game, you can install libraries like the Sanctus library, which is a collection of hundreds of procedure materials, each with unique properties and settings that you can customize to fit into your design. It also now comes with generators like welding generators, grass generators, painted glass generators, image decals, and more. This can save you a ton of hours. The thing about generators is that they allow the artist to work on the parts they love about 3D making and let generators handle the rest. For example, I don't enjoy character creation. It takes too much time and you need a lot of practice to get it right. But I still need realistic characters every now and then that are well made and look good. So human generator is a good fit for that. You don't have to model the characters. But if you want to customize the characters to have a certain look, the add-on still gives you tools to allow you to customize the character to fit the style and design you want. Do you guys ever want to model rocks? I find it tedious and time consuming. Most of the time, you can't just model them. You have to sculpt them, which means you have to retopple them, UV unwrap them, and then texture the rock. And most of the time, you're going to need more than just one rock. The alternative is using something like Infinite Procedure Rock Builder. It uses cycles to render realistic rocks, cliffs, and more with realistic textures. And the shaders are customizable to your liking so that you can make the rocks fit into your art style. Those were some of the tools that I think can really help you improve your renders without putting in too much work.